Hello, hello. Elixir 115 introduced a few new functions to compare date times and dates. And I think they're pretty helpful. Let's take a look at them. So let's grab a, let's say a date time. You to see now, that's one. Let's create another one that's the same. That's a few seconds after. And there we go. And now we can compare them. The new functions that are introduced are date time before and date time after and the same for date. So let's go ahead and take a look at this is a before B and that is true. And the opposite is of course false. And this is a strict comparison. So if I do a and a, it's actually false. So it's checking if this is if a is strictly before B. And um, we can do the same thing with after. I'll do a is is a after B and that should be false, but is B after a, that should be true. Okay, so that's what we have now. What did we have before? Before we could do daytime compare. And so we can still do that. But that returns a less than it can be also greater than and it can also do equality. So that's the one benefit of this. It does have equality. And that's really nice. The one thing you should never do is compare things like this. This is comparing dates in a structural way. It's not semantic, it doesn't understand you're comparing date time. So this can lead to some really gnarly bugs. So never use less than or equal to always use date time compare or date compare. And now you can use the date time before date time after and the same for date. Hope you like it.